Right then, what I'm gonna show you, the kind of like the first steps in terms of making music using Scratch. Now we're using Scratch 2, which is the online version, uh, not the one on your computer. So just click the link in your OneNote and it comes through to this web page. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're not gonna bother logging in, we're gonna go straight to start creating. So just click on that button on the left where it says start creating. And you can see you've got your basic interface, but I wanna get rid of these things that come up. So anything like, you know, the video at the bottom, the tutorials, uh, we don't need the cat either. Um, and you've got your very basic kind of interface to work with. Now, what we need to do when we're working with music in Scratch is kind of import um, certain blocks. So down the bottom where it's got the blue sort of square with a little plus sign and two white sort of stripes, click on that and it brings up a load of libraries that you can kind of use. Uh, they're called extensions. So I'm gonna click on the, the music one there where it says play instruments and drums. And what you'll see, it's kind of in, imported some, some blocks that we can use in terms of making music. Uh, so you can see play drum, rest, play note, etc. Um, what I'm gonna do, first off, I'm gonna go to events, pull out this when clicked block. I'm gonna go back to my music. And what I'm gonna do is set the instruments. So I'm gonna start with my piano. Obviously there's some other things in there you could choose. We're gonna keep it simple just for now. We can get creative after we've, we've started putting some notes in. Uh, and we've got play notes. Now you can see it's got a number, number 60. Um, in your one notes, if you, you have a look at the notes, you've got C, D, E, C, and they match up with these numbers here. So C is 60, D 62, then 64, etc. So all you need to do is kind of follow this, uh, these numbers and you, you, you'll get the right notes. Or, um, probably a slightly easier way of doing it in, in Chrome, uh, back in Scratch, sorry. Let's grab another note. Actually, we'll put a rest in first because we need to uh, put a rest in. I'm going to go to my next note. So it was 60, but if I click on the number there, so it says, okay, well, I can see the uh, where the C notes are, and there's my D, like so. So I'm going to go back to that, and you can hear if it's played in the background. I just need to put another rest in. Okay, and you can hear the first like, two notes. So we know the next one is going to be an E. So if we go to that one, like that. Okay, get another rest in. And then what we're going to do is get the final note in that, that bar, um, each is, whoops, back to C. And I'll put a rest in after that, like so. So if we play that, hopefully it should sound like the start of Frere Jacker. Okay, so there you go. So you've got the four notes uh, that you can see there, C, D, E, C. And you can see it carries on there, C, D, E, C again. And then it goes to E, F, G, E, F, G. Um, so you've got kind of like the different bars there. And it's kind of re repeated. Um, so what I want you to do is try and create all these notes with the rests as well. Uh, so it sounds like Frere Jacker. And then obviously, once you've got the notes done, we can start playing around with the different sort of like sounds. But let's keep it simple. Just get the notes in first before you start to do a bassoon. Okay, like so. So we've got the notes in. It's over to you to complete the rest of the, um, the kind of like notes for Frere Jacker. Uh, using these. Once you've got it done, I want you to paste uh, or screenshot sorry, your notes from scratch into the bit below uh, and then move on to the next section.